This video is for all of you out there who are over 50 years old. And the reason I want to talk to you is because there's something that starts happening at that point and we need to talk about it. I'm talking about yesterday you being different than tomorrow you. Life has changed. Transitions are happening. Are you handling it well? Are you ready for them? So let's talk about how do you make that transition? I think one of the starting places is to recognize who you were that you aren't anymore. So for instance, let's say you used to prance around in four inch heels. I bet you're not doing that anymore because it hurts. You can let go of those kind of things. What you're wearing is probably different and that may be because some of the younger styles don't fit, don't suit you anymore. Clothes may not fit you anymore. You've just changed. We tend to be a little less formal in our wear and you just aren't wearing what you used to wear. Another place where life changes a lot is what you're doing in the kitchen. You're probably not cooking for as many people. You just don't need the pots and pans and all the stuff that you used to need. Everything is different. Once you kind of say, hey, you know what? I recognize that those differences have happened. You can start mentally going, oh, well, I'm not going to work that way, live that way anymore. I do need to make a change. Now, the other part of the equation is, where are you going? You can't leave one place and not figure out what you're moving on to. So what is the new you? Well, I'm gonna encourage you to kind of just sit back and, and maybe you have a nice glass of wine or you listen to some music and just think. Turn off the social media, close the door, enjoy yourself and just sit back and think. Is there something that you've always wanted to do? Maybe it's um, you used to play the saxophone and you'd like to play it again. Maybe you would like to play the saxophone but never learned, take lessons. Is there some travel that you want to do? One of the things that's really neat in, in this phase of life is doing hospitality like you weren't able to do before. Not necessarily cooking a whole meal, but just having somebody over for lemonade and cookies or a light dinner, keeping it easy, but enjoying being able to have people over. Now, you've very quickly, we've talked about who you're not anymore, who you are, are going to be, who you'd like to be, and the opportunities to do those things. Now, somewhere there has to be a transition in between because the stuff that you have had and have doesn't fit who you're going to be. It's clutter. It gets in the way. Um, financially, it may be costing you in that you're overbuying things because you don't know what you have. You're, it's taking time that you don't want to spend. It is very freeing to let go of these things. I want to encourage you that if you need any help kind of figuring out who you were, who you're going to be, how you make that transition, talking to somebody else can really, really help. Whether you're using them as a sounding board or using them for advice. It could be a spouse. It could be a friend. It could be somebody, a third party, a counselor. And believe it or not, as a professional organizer, I do a lot, a lot, a lot of that. In fact, I often have people say, are you a counselor? I have helped so many people make that transition. It's not about becoming what somebody else thinks you should be, what somebody else's vision is. It's about talking through and figuring out what yours is and the things that are hindering. And I guarantee you that having a bunch of pots and pans that you're digging over and around in the kitchen isn't helping. Having a closet that's overly full is not helping. Having crafts and hobbies that you've started but haven't finished over the last two or three decades it's not helping. So let's take care of that. Let's get on to that new awesome tomorrow you that you're going to be. I know you can do it.